Hello everybody and welcome to Iron Sight. This is a first person shooter that is free on Steam and it's kind of like Black Ops 1. And it has basically the same graphics. I, I mean, I would say it, it, it kind of looks like it. People might be mistaken that this is Black Ops, but it's not. And if you get shot too much, um, you get your strawberry jam everywhere because I don't know why people always target me in strawberry jam because I have like a little, like, I have like jars of strawberry, like four jars of strawberry jam, jam on my, um, on my, like, chest. I'm using it as my armor. I'm using it as basically my armor, kind of like ballistic armor or something. That's why they call me the jugger the jam juggernaut or the juggernaut of jam. Because I can take a lot of bullets and I can actually surprisingly run super fast. But this game has many perks such as double time, which basically gives you a speed boost, quick reload, which lets you reload quicker, nimble hands, which throws throwables 30% faster, giving it, making it do more damage for some reason, even though it already does 200, enough for it to um, hit you right in the ketchup packets, and um then you get hit and then you um you get um hmm. um let's say unalived anyway then there's also stuff like lo long ears which lets you hear enemies footsteps louder and in this video, I'm basically playing Iron Sight as, against bots, and obviously, the bots are actually surprisingly good, even though I have it on easy bots. I don't know how, but they're actually very annoying to play against if you where I am right now. And there's a ton of other maps, like Mart, Observatory, Airport, and this one, and also Discovery, which is this one, but it is a very, very challenging game to learn the mechanics of. Like, it took me 3.2 hours to get to where I am right now playing it, but it's a pretty good game overall. Me, personally, I would probably rate it like a B plus because you can, but because it doesn't give you enough ammo. But one of the perks that I have, I think it's instead of double time, I, it gives me ammo when I roll, when I walk over people's dead bodies, or, yeah, dead bodies. What was that? Yeah. And so, basically, there's also optics. Once you level up, you can get, like, crates and the iron sight currency, which is, for some reason, a big golden G, or a black G, surrounded by, like, a kind of gold coin-looking. And when you level up, you get 10,000 of those, while also getting a crate, which I don't really it gives you like a choice between some items like i got my uzi from i got my uzi from the um crate because it gave me an option for a blue uzi or it gave me a ton of options for like skins and I chose the blue one because obviously it's the best looking one if you check 
and you can also get a sidearm which during this round I have the deagle equipped I now use the jackhammer which no it's not a jackhammer it's a shotgun that does a hundred damage and it holds 10 bullets so it's kind of like the spas but like better basically so then there's the bots are like once you play with the bots a lot which i do you get to know their names and then all they all have the same there's always a bot with that name in your on your team like if you're just playing by yourself bear is always going to be on your team or i there's also one named like zester which is always on the other team which always has the blaster which no it's not like the star wars e11 blaster i think that's the e11 i don't know i don't watch star i don't know a lot about star wars but it basically he always carries it's a sniper and he always tries to get to where I was defending against all those bots. And basically, it's like... And also, throwing knives are one of the best. Throwing knives and throwing axes. If you want to get throwables. Um, I know Alexander is one of the bots on the enemy team. And he always carries, like, an LMG. And then you can also, like, vault over stuff, which it only lets you vault over stuff that has, like, a yellow arrow. I don't know why. It's pretty weird. But the bots, if you're on easy, if you just crouch and just stand, if you, like, go prone and you just stand still, or just lay down still. You ba they basically think that you're dead, and they like just walk over you and stuff. So I use that sometimes. But Iron Sight is an overall good game. You guys should play it and enjoy the rest of the video. I guess. Like I said before, guys, my rating of this game will probably be a B plus because it is, I mean, it could be better maybe giving the player more ammo. For some guns, it's better to have less ammo, but not for the Uzi. I suggest maybe instead of having 96 starting out with, maybe have 180 and overall just the weapons need to do some weapons need to do a little bit less damage like the snipers 
I think the snipers do a little too much damage. Maybe reduce that by like 5%. But in my opinion, it would be a B plus. You guys should try it out if you guys think that this is interesting. And enjoy the rest of the video, I guess. And also make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And like I said, my final rating is a B plus. I overall think the developers did a really good job with it. And leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the game and if you and what you guys would rate it. From F to S Q. Thank you so much for watching guys. It took me a while to make this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe or else you will not get or else you will get no cookies and very bad luck.